Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I want to talk to you about Instant ID. It just launched today. The demo is up. It's free to use. I'll send you, I'll put a link in the description below. But here it is. This is a new AI or AI image generator that can generate customized images with different poses and styles, all from a single reference image with no training. Literally, in the previous uh, AI image generators, you'd have to train a model or you'd have to submit like 5, 10, 15, 20 images and then it would try and come up with a composite. In this one, it is one image or as they call it, zero shot. So let me show you how it works and I'll also put links in the description, like I said, so you can try it out free. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you'll see here is I am on a hugging face and this is where they're having it, storing it free. And this is all you need to do. You need to do, I'll delete all this, but look at this. Here's the image that I popped in. Here is the basically the reference image or the pose image. And look at this, it created a watercolor of her, of a very, very close, you know, representation of her in watercolor, but in the pose below. So it completely changed the pose. So this is one example. And let me show you a few other examples here while I got you. I've got this attractive lady here, uh, but her back's turned to the camera. So we can only see about two thirds of her face, but I wanted a front on pose like this guy here, who's like a, a dollar store Cal Drogo, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then what does it give me? It gave me a very nice front on pose. So these are just some examples. I've got lots more here. I've got her, uh, that attractive lady again here, looking at the camera to the side. And in this one, this is not a watercolor style. This is more of a standard photo style. And again, there's multiple different examples here. Here's Call Me Creek or something like that. I did a video about him the other day. Here he is looking off on a three quarter angle. And then I put an image of this guy here. who looks nothing like him looking at the camera and presto, we've got another cool watercolor style. So how did I do that? It's very simple. Here's the last one here that I'll show you. So let's just go ahead and start from scratch. I'll just plug it in here. So again, the link is in the description below. The first step, just upload the image that you want of the face that you want. So I'll just go to my finder here and then I'm going to grab this person here. And there we go. We've got that nice lady here. So this is the image that we're going with. Now we want a reference image, which is what we kind of want, you know, their pose to look like. So in this case, I'm choosing a very deliberately different pose. So we've got her, you know, full on looking at camera. And then we've got this guy here looking completely away from the camera in profile. The next step here is before we can go, we can go ahead and hit submit. If we just want to go with this, we can type in a prompt like uh, attractive lady looking away uh, look in profile let's do something like that let's go quick here in profile something like that something like that attractive lady in profile there we go now i can either submit it or if i go further down here you'll see we've got all these different styles now apparently there's a bunch of sdxl already built into this but here we go watercolor film noir neon jungle mars vibrant color snow and even line art so some pretty crazy stuff in there and then here we go identity net and image adapter strength so right now it defaults at 0.8 but if we want it to look more like the reference image, we can increase these here. And again, you can adjust the sliders as you see fit. I usually go with about 1.2, but go as you see fit. And then before I hit submit, well, actually we'll hit submit, but right now I believe I've used up all of my GPU. No, I have not. So I'm gonna submit this and come back when it's done and then I'll show you the final step. All right, welcome back. So look at that. So this is a very nice water cooler. It has matched the pose exactly. Like this is incredible. Even the second part of the eye there is just barely visible. And you'll see here that I've got attractive lady in profile. The default style is watercolor, but some people might want to put no style in if you want like a photo type look. And again, if we get the wrong, you know, if we don't get it 100% right here, you'll see here the usage tips are if you're unsatisfied with the similarity, you can increase the weight of the control net conditioning scale, which is this identity net here. So you can increase this if it's not quite looking like the image that you want it to or at the original image, or you can increase the second one here, which is the adapter strength for detail. So again, you can adjust those as you see fit. And that is literally it. I've got, you know, nothing but great things to say about this. I think this is the end of Laura's. I think this is the future. Thanks for watching.